Mga idol at kabayan, super good news, Israel! Muli na namang pinabilib ang mga Pilipino. Idol, ayos, tapos na. O oh, idol, tinapos na ng Israel Shipyard ang pag-upgrade sa bagong shipyard ng Philippine Navy sa Cavite bilang pasilidad sa paggawa ng mga Sheldon MK5 dito mismo sa bansa. Wow na wow! Ibig sabihin nito, idol, tuloy na tuloy na ang matagal na nating pinapangarap ang makagawa tayo ng mga barkong pang malakasa na made in Philippines sa tulong ng teknolohiya ng Israel. Kalian Island Group binuksan na ng Pilipinas para maging tourist destination. Gusto ko yan. Local government unit ng Palawan nag-organisa ng tour package sa sino mang may gustong mag-enjoy at mag-relax sa karagatang sakop ng Pilipinas sa West Philippine Sea. Kung gusto niyong malaman ang mga detalye, panoorin ang video. Amerika nagbigay ng mga bagong gamit sa Pilipinas na nagkahalaga ng halos nasa 178 million peso. Si Uncle Sam talaga nag-abala pa. Yung iba dyan, inggit na naman. Ito ang mga balitang ating pag usapan dito lang sa Good News Philippines. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang video. Magsubs mabilis lang ito. Promise! Israel tinapos na ang paggawa at pag-upgrade ang pinakabagong shipyard ng Philippine Navy sa Cavite. Ito ay gagamitin ng Philippine Navy upang makagawa ng mga Shardag MK5 bilang mga fast attack interdiction craft missile. Wow na wow! Ibig mong sabihin, idol, meron na tayong license to produce dito. Tama, idol. Yan ay kasama sa kasunduan ng Pilipinas at Israel. Sa tulong ng Israel upang mapalakas hindi lamang ang Philippine Air Force, Philippine Army, maging ang Philippine Navy ay nandyan sila upang suportahan ang mga pangailangan ng Pilipinas lalong-lalo na sa Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program. Ayon sa isang source, ibinigay na ng Israel Shipyard ang kaukulang dokumento at susi ng bagong shipyard ng Philippine Navy bilang formal na pag-turnover nito. Ang bagong shipyard ng Philippine Navy ay gagamitin sa paggawa ng tatlong Shaldag MK5. Ibig sabihin mga kabayan, ito ang kauna-unahang mga missile boat na gagawin ng Armed Forces of the Philippines dito sa bansa. Siyempre, alam na na kapag dito yan ginawa ang mga barko na ito ay tatak made in Philippines. Ito ay magpapapalakas sa self-reliance defense posture ng ating bansa. Ito yung matagal na nating hinihintay mga kabayan na makagawa ng sarili nating mga defense equipment. Ang pangmalakasan pa talaga dahil ito ay sa tulong ng paglipat ng mga teknolohiya ng Israel sa Pilipinas. Well, nararapat lang bigyan pugay ang ginawang pagsuporta ng Duterte administration upang maging makatotohanan ang matagal na nating pangarap bilang isang bansa. Hindi magtatapos dito ang Shaldag MK5 para sa Pilipinas dahil nais pang magkaroon ng Philippine Navy ng karagdagang labing lima pa dahil sa meron na tayong shipyard at kakayahan sa tulong ng Israel. Posibleng ang mga karagdagang fast attack interdiction craft missile ng Philippine Navy ay dito naggagawin sa Pilipinas. Yan ay magbubukas ng karagdagang trabaho. Mas makakatipid tayo at pwede tayong magbenta ng ganitong uri ng mga barko sa ibang mga bansa sa hinaharap. Sa ibang balita naman, Palawan Local Government Unit binuksan na ang isa sa matagal na nating hinihintay na gawing tourist spot. Ang kalayan Island Group sa West Philippine Sea. Sa halagang 85,000 peso, mapapasyal mo na ang mga magagandang isla at bahura ng Kalayan Island sa West Philippine Sea. Ito ay isa lang sa mga paraan ng Palawan upang igit na atin at tayo ang may karapatan sa nasabing lugar. Ang tour package na ito ay tatagal ng pitong araw. Kasama sa mga mapupuntahan ay ang isa ng lawak, patag, pag-asa island at iba pa. Magkakaroon kayo ng pagkakataon na makapag-diving, snorkeling, kayaking, kiteboarding, surfing, fishing at iba pa. Sa ngayon, merong tatlong expedition ang nakaschedule sa buwan ng Marso, Abril at Ayo. At bawat expedition ay kinabibilangan lamang ng dalawampung katao. Para sa iba pang mga detalye, puntahan nyo lang ang kanilang FB page na Sprati Islands Kalayaan Tourism. Para sa iba pang detalye, sa ibang balita naman, matapos matanggap ng Philippine National Police ang mahigit sa 1.2 billion peso ng mga karagdagang armas, high speed boat, mga motor, sasakyan at mobile trucks. Aba, nakatanggap na naman ito ng mga karagdagang gamit mula sa Amerika bilang donasyon na nagkakahalaga ng 3.3 million US dollar o 178.8 million peso. Kabilang sa mga naibigay ng Amerika ay pitong pickup Ford Ranger trucks, 31 mga bomb suits, 37 digital scanex, 40 x-ray sources, at 33 high research techniques kits at iba pa. <laughs> consisting of bomb suits, scanner, x-rays, batteries, or bomb suits. Ipinakita din ng Philippine National Police ang kanilang kayahan sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng robotic equipment na ibigay din ng Amerika sa kanila.
Explosive Detection Dog Tommy was donated through Anti-Terrorism Assistance Program. At the center, ladies and gentlemen, is the canine handler which will be using the off-leash search. Off-leash search method during high risk situation wherein the extract location of explosive is unknown. This technique is being done to surely minimize the potential hazard posed to the handler. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The dog has seated. EDD Tommy manifested change of behavior exactly to the area where a strong scent was detected, probably an explosive scent imprinted to him. Based on the indication given by the explosive detection dog, a render safe procedure will be undertaken by the EOD technicians. In this scenario, ladies and gentlemen, the explosive incident response teams will be utilizing two EOD robotics. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, on our rightmost at the entrance of the e two EOD robotics. One of the techniques is that the use of ICOR MK3 caliber EOD robotics. The said robotics were donated by DS ATAP last 2013. Also, other special equipment such as EOD bomb suits, hook and line rigging kits, logos and scan X-ray system, and also water cannon disruptors. The EOD robotics were capable of conducting visual inspection with the use of its six digital cameras. A glow arm was also put on the EOD robotics to gain access in the door of the vehicle and to carry items or devices. These robotics can carry a load up to 30 kilograms. Two pan water cannon disruptor was also placed on the water arms. On the weapon arms, the pan disruptor is capable of disrupting the circuitry of every device. So instead of sending P1 on a bomb suit near the suspected item, limiting exposure of EOD technician that might endanger them. One EOD robotic, ladies and gentlemen, with code name Krame, was sent downrange to conduct visual inspection to the suspected item inside the vehicle. Another EOD robotics with code name NCR will also be sent down range armed with two pan disruptor. And now once Krame robotic assessed that the suspected item inside the vehicle with indicator is not a booby trapped, it will perform mitigation techniques. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The item was extracted already. We would like to inform everyone that on the left side, that is code name Krame, on the right side, the robotics with code name NCR. P1 will be sent downrange to place the water cannon disruptor with stand arm with general disruption charts to assess and open the package remotely. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. P1 was sent down to place the water cannon disruptor with stand arm with general disruption charts to access and open the package remotely. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And now, as we can see, P1 is moving backward. And after that, Krame Robotics will place the suspected item in the designated area for disruption. While NCR Robotics will position near the suspected item, it will align the pan disruptor maintaining the correct standoff to successfully disrupt the suspected device. The item. There you have it. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And now the team leader will inform the designated ground commander regarding that the EIRT is ready to disrupt the suspected item and ask for clearance to fire the disruptor. We would like to inform everyone that we will be hearing an explosion. Ready! Fire! Laban Pinas.